It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Rickless here. Welcome to Guardian Watchers. So, it is a weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of December, and remember, there will be four winners. Yes, four winners. Then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, let's go ahead and start with the challenges first. Starting with the tower. Like always, we have Ikora, which you need to actually complete 20 bounties of any type. Then we have... Uh, Hawthorne, which you need to earn 5,000 XP for your clan. Coming over to Mercury. For Mercury, we have the Flashpoint, which you need to complete Lost Sectors, Public Events, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. Then we also have uh, Heroic Adventure, Bug in the System. Coming down to the Vanguard. You need to complete three uh, daily story missions. Then over here, you need to complete a strike as well as strikes using the same subclass as a teammate. And modifiers for this week are Solar Singe, Glass, as well as Brawler. Then we have your Nightfall, whoops, where you need to complete a Nightfall and then earn 100,000 points. This week's Nightfall choices are the Garden World. Lake of Shadows, and the Tree of Probabilities. Then we have Gambit, which you need to complete a match, as well as complete three different matches. As for Crucible, we have uh, complete a match, as well as complete five matches, and that could be in any one of these uh, game modes, except for the private match. And this week, we have Breakthrough for the Crucible uh, weekly... Uh, I guess you could say like a reset. I don't know. Uh, it, it's been a long day. After the Dreaming City, Petra is in the, the Valley of Mists, and you need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So, let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse this week. Welcome. Starting with the wonderful Prismatic Matrix, we have the uh, Shank Shell. Looks pretty cool. Oh, sorry. It actually has a uh, public defender, omni telemetry, and then one random mod. Then we have the Victorian Silver Hawk, which is the ornament for the Celestial Night Hawk. If I have to say so, it looks pretty badass. But no point of actually using that anymore. Then we have the Electronic Mid Cage which is the ornament for the insurmountable skull fort and unfortunately I cannot preview it no thanks to Bungie then we also have the Freight of the Dark which is the ornament for the Netherrick Sin then we have uh, Mansana's shell which is a ghost shell we have the uh, Beguiling Dance I think that's how you say it, if not that's okay it's an emote Then we have the Credence, which is the ornament for the Trust. Looks pretty badass. Then we have the Tickle Catastrophe. <laughs> it's another uh, wonderful reskin of a ship. Temperance Moon. Another reskin of a ship. As well as the Jubilee uh, Pronto. Another reskin of a wonderful speeder. So, coming down here to the packages. Obviously, we have your bright engrams. Nobody cares about those. Then we have your sleepers bundle. This comes complete with the Hypnopompic uh, Hypno uh, ornament for the sleeper. And I will say it looks pretty badass. I use it on mine. Then we have the Mad Son of uh, Sakeles. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Then we have your AI Com uh, Rasput and Reboot, and this is a Transmat effect. And then, the last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallions. For the Iron Ornament Bundle, 
we have the Lupus Vestige, which is the ornament for the Fighting Lion. And then we have your Gleaming Boon of the Crucible, as well as the Fire Team Medallion. Then we have the Rolling Star Bundle. There's a lot of bundles this week. This comes with this wonderful uh, speeder called uh, Concentric Dawn. And if I'm correct, this is the Festival, or well, one of the Festival of Dawn speeders. I mean, Festival of Dawn. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> oh my god. I apologize. My mind is like somewhere else. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> but the Festival. You know, the winner one. <laughs> it also comes with Fire Team Medallion as well as Precursor X Chrome. God. Then we have your Road to Redemption bundle. Comes with uh, three Steadfast Engrams, 500 Bright Dust, and then 1044 Steel uh, Shaders. And then last but not least, we have your Faster Than Speed bundle. And this comes with the Hyper Velocity for the Thunderlord. If you don't already have one, because uh, I know they sold this last week as well. And then we also have the uh, Corrupt Ether as well as Bright Dust for 150. Now, the Bright Dust purchases for this week we have All Alone, which is an emote and looks pretty sad. Looks pretty sad. Then we have your Dust Off emote. Then we have your. Hakuba S. Uh, Sparrow. Then we have your Twin Fang Sparrow. Then we have your Death to Kells Ship. I don't even know if I have this yet. Hardtop Regent Ship. Then we have the uh, Shank Shell. So, real quick. If you have the Bright Dust, go ahead and buy the Shank Shell here. That way, when you actually use your Prismatic Matrix, you won't get it again. Then we have your Horned Horse Projection. Then we have your Victorian Silverhawk. Your Pride of Omelon, which is the ornament for the Cold Heart. As well as your Coup de Main, which is your ornament for the Soros Regime. Makes it kind of look like the old Soros. Then we have your Reef Awoken. Uh, Transmount Effect. Then your Guardian Blue Transmount Effect. Then we have uh, Flavadu Core. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. As well as Cerulean uh, Divide. Then we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard. Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. And then your Fire Team Medallion. So, real quick, this is going to be the last week that you guys can actually go to Lord Shacks and actually get the two, um, how do you say, the two quest steps in order to get either the Claymore's Broadsword or the Luna's Howl, or in the Luna's case, or my case, the uh, Not Forgotten. Uh, I already have my Lunas, so you at least need to grab these two quest steps from Lord Shacks. Originally, this one will be red, and this one will obviously still be orange, but grab them from Lord Shax, that way you still have a chance to grab the Luna's Howl or the uh, Claymore's Broadsword, because there's a possibility that next week, when the next season starts, we will not be able to get these. So go ahead and at least pick them up, that way it's in your inventory. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.